In this video, I'm going to show you how to make lip gloss that looks just like Starbucks coffee. All of the materials I used are listed in the description box below. So the first thing you want to do is cut out the little coffee cups and the sleeves. Then you want to take your little cup and these cups that I'm using are actually shot glasses that I found at Party City and you can get a bunch of them for like three bucks so that's awesome. And I'm just wrapping the little template around and then I'm going to add some regular Elmer's glue or any kind of glue that you have to the outside of the cup and then I'm going to glue on the template just like that. Now I'm gluing on the sleeve and I'm also going to add a little piece of trim at the top of the cup. So instead of just dropping the little bead container in the cup, I'm going to use a piece of paper, kind of fold it up to make the bead container a little bit taller so it'll reach the top of the cup just like this and I'm going to glue it in with some hot glue. After that just fill the edges of the container that are open with hot glue and then let it dry and it should look something like this. Now to make it look like there's actually coffee in the little Starbucks cup. I'm going to use some 3D fabric paint and just scribble it around the edge of the coffee cup. To make the whipped cream topping, I just used some white polymer clay and this is just a lightweight polymer clay but you can use um, any kind of white clay or you can even use salt dough if you don't have any polymer clay. I'm just pushing the clay basically through a 1M star shaped kind of icing tip that I found in the cake decorating section of Hobby Lobby. To make sure the whipped cream will fit on the top of the lip gloss, I'm just taking the lid and then putting a piece of saran wrap over the lid and then I'm going to wrap the whipped cream kind of in a circular motion until I get to the top. Once you finish shaping the whipped cream, you can bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. After it's finished baking, it's a happy time because you get to glue the lid on. Yay! It's pretty much finished now. So I'm just going to take some hot glue and blast it on the top and then throw the whipped cream right on there and make sure you have the pretty part facing the front like I'm doing. So I decided to make some lip gloss this time with some coconut oil, shea butter, vitamin E oil, and some essential oils to give it like a scent. And so I'm just mixing those all together but you can use petroleum jelly if you don't have this or actually you can just use any lip gloss you have and melt it in there if you want. The recipe that I used for this lip gloss is also in the description box below if you want to look at it. And so then I just melted it for about a minute in the microwave. That's how long it took. And this is what it looked like after it was melted. So I'm going to use a little dropper and squeeze up the lip gloss and kind of put it in to the um, container without spilling it because I figured if I tried to pour the lip gloss in with the little bowl it would just spill everywhere and I'd get you know like a, I make a big mess so after I filled them up I put these in the freezer for about 20 minutes 
and then they cool down and they look like this and so it really looks like lip balm and it's all shiny and moisturizing so this is a great idea if you want to make a gift for somebody for the holidays or their birthday. Um, I actually made these because my best friend is addicted to Starbucks and I thought this would be so cute for her. And of course, thank you for sending me your pictures on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. I really appreciate it. It's so sweet. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much. <laughs>